consciousness is um, quite a funny word in some ways. Um, and I, I want to talk about something that is possibly more tangible, but relates to consciousness. So if we think of morality, for example, it's a very complex behaviour that relates to us as individuals and how we integrate ourselves within the outer world. So when we study morality as neuroscientists, what we can see is that there's particular regions, particular circuits within the brain that give rise to our moral behaviour. And that our genes, the d DNA that we're given from our mum and our dad, impinge and underpin our moral code as an individual. And there's something really interesting that happens within our brains as our moral codes, as our moral values get shifted. There's different changes within the striatum, which is a brain region that's involved in reward and motivation, which means that once you've devalued your moral code and you're transgressing, then actually your brain gets primed towards further transgression and to receive more reward from further transgression. So I want to start the discussion with consciousness by actually reducing it to a really complex behavior of morality. I've actually done some research myself on the neural correlates of conscious experience, an so fMRI study of how uh, an area MT, for example, in, in the uh, visual system is correlated with our experience of motion perception. And, and I think that work is, is wonderful. There are now dozens and dozens of neural correlates of consciousness, but, but the notion is of neural correlates when we say that they give rise to conscious experiences, that's, that's more than we know. We know that they're correlated, but, but the idea that they give rise is now saying we have some theory about how exactly that activity in MT gives rise to our conscious experience of emotion, and, and, and that, that we don't have. There, there are no theories right now that can, um, you know, all, all the theories that are on the table, so um, integrated information theory, um, orchestrated collapse of microtubules theories, um, global workspace theories. If you ask the authors of these theories, and I have in person uh, many times, can you give me a specific conscious experience? Uh, say integrated information theory. What is the um, specific pattern of integrated information that must be the taste of chocolate and could not be the smell of a rose? Or what's the integrated information, or, or, or say the neural um, collapse of microtubules that must be, um, you know, a headache and could not be uh, the smell of a rose. And they can't give a single one. So, so the, no scientific theory, uh, materialist theory of consciousness can yet explain even one specific case. So it, it's, it's, they're batting zero. So my attitude is that, um, you know, if we don't have theories that are physicalist that can explain this stuff, then we, we need to go in, in a new direction. And the, the work I would just say on, on evolution, just to, to get to the first part of your question, basically the, the key idea there is that evolution by natural selection is governed by fitness payoffs, and the fitness payoffs guide the, the evolution of our sensory systems. And so it's a simple technical question. Do the fitness payoff uh, functions uh, in, that guide evolution, do they have information about the structure of objective reality? And so it's a clean technical question. doesn't matter whether you believe evolutionary theory or not. You just look at the mathematics and, and the answer is quite clear. The probability is zero that any fitness payoff function has any information about any structure of objective reality. It's just that simple. So since the payoff functions don't have that information, they couldn't possibly shape us to see the truth. So that leads to the idea that um, our perceptions are more like a, a, a virtual reality. Space and time and physical objects are... Um, you know, evolution shaped us with perceptions that guide adaptive behavior, full stop. They didn't need to show us the truth, and they didn't show us the truth. They just guide adaptive behavior. To continue watching this video, click the link in the top left or in the description below. Or visit iai.tv for more debates and talks from the world's leading thinkers on today's biggest ideas.